Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us. In this session, we'll be discussing the impact of ransomware and how organizations can better prepare to mitigate the impact of ransomware via cyber resilience. We'll first share some insights on the growing ransomware threat as gleaned from Google Cloud's unique vantage point. Then we'll share our views on how to think about and approach cyber resilience, including some specific guidance on how Google Cloud can help. And finally, to wrap things up, we'll suggest some simple ways to get started on your cyber resilience journey. And my name is Jerome McFarland. I'm a Google Cloud Solutions Manager focused on topics relating to infrastructure modernization. In today's session, I'm very pleased to be joined by Vicente Diaz, a security engineer from Google's Virus Total team. Now with introductions out of the way, I'll pass the mic to Vicente. Thanks, Jerome. Virus Total is the world's largest cross-source threat intelligence platform. This provides us with a unique visibility that we use to analyze how ransomware attacks have been evolving during the last two years. All this data is available in our Ransomware in a Global Context report, and today we will discuss some of the main findings. We analyze how ransomware attacks evolve for the last two years. For this period, we observe more than 130 active ransomware families. We also observe attackers distribute their malware in waves. Some of them do aggressively in terms of the number of samples created. More interestingly, in addition to the most notorious attacks, we found a constant baseline of 100 active ransomware families. Attackers use different strategies for spreading their malware. Many of them systematically create a big amount of fresh new samples before spreading, which difficult de uh, detection. Attackers also use other malware families to get into their victims before deploying ransomware. This includes remote access trojans, rats, and botnets. Unfortunately, in some occasions, we underestimate the presence of such malware without considering this might be the first stage of a critical attack. Social engineering is probably the main distribution vector. Generally speaking, attackers do not seem to need a high level of sophistication in their toolset. There is a low percentage of artifacts used in ransomware attacks incorporating any kind of exploit, and when they do, the exploit is usually exploiting some more vulnerabilities. However, we can think of some of these attacks as a job of a well-oiled team where attackers routinely use APT-like methodologies and tools against their victims. Google Cloud has great products and solutions that can leverage such signals to help prevent successful ransomware attacks. Unfortunately, it's impossible to guarantee that everything will get detected so you also need effective ways to recover in the event of a successful attack. Google Cloud can help with that as well. I will not hand off to Jerome, so he can tell you more. Thanks, Vicente. To enable rapid recovery from a ransomware attack, we strongly advise taking a forward-looking strategic approach. And at Google Cloud, we've developed an end-to-end -end framework for delivering cybersecurity and resilience, as shown here. This framework is aligned with the five functions defined by the NIST cybersecurity framework, and it helps our customers proactively apply GCP products and services to meet their security and resilience goals. Google Cloud offers a robust portfolio of security offerings that can help customers stop a malicious attack from occurring. These technologies are focused on prevention. However, in today's session, we'll focus on technology supporting accelerated recovery from an attack that was triggered successfully. Now, by design, ransomware attacks create chaotic, stressful situations with victims often left scrambling to react and find a clear path forward. And as a result, the time required to recover is often measured in days, which can be a catastrophe for business operations. Now, in such situations, being reactive is not a path to success. Successful recovery demands a proactive, context-aware approach. And the context-aware part is critical. It's very important to note that reliance on traditional backup and disaster recovery products may not be sufficient when faced with a ransomware attack. An attack initiated by an intelligent bad actor is very different 
from an outage caused by human error or by a natural disaster. Recovering quickly from an intentional attack requires an intentional approach. The good news is that we're here to help. At Google Cloud, we're committed to protecting your business and helping you to achieve resilience against malicious attack. We feel that we're uniquely equipped with the technology and infrastructure to support that mission, helping you to accelerate your time to recovery and thereby minimize the disruptions to your business. With GCP integrated solutions, you can gain confidence in your ability to recover from attack, and you'll also gain the ability to test those recovery capabilities in advance of an attack, thereby demonstrating effective, predictable recovery and reducing your overall cyber risk. Now to do so, preparation is crucial. And an effective solution will address three key core requirements. The first two relate to pre-attack preparation and the last relates to a recovery scenario. And the first area is the ability to capture point in time copies of mission critical data. You can think of these conceptually as timestamped backups. And of course, when capturing these copies, you'll wanna do it efficiently from both a time and a storage perspective. And a good solution will also need to provide sufficient coverage to address your key application stacks and environments. The second core requirement is the ability to protect the data you've captured by securing it in a safe location and with sufficient isolation from your production infrastructure. A good solution will also store and protect your data in a way that maximizes its resistance to unauthorized tampering. The third and final core requirement is the ability to quickly restore your business after an attack has occurred by recovering to a known good data state, which of course also involves having mechanisms to identify a good state to return to. To facilitate rapid recovery in the aftermath of an attack, a good solution will allow your organization to test its efficacy in preparation and to test on demand and as often as desired to achieve and maintain confidence. With these key requirements in mind, we're pleased to offer our customers a proactive path forward by implementing ransomware recovery on Google Cloud. With Google Cloud technologies, you can deliver broad protection for your mission critical workloads by capturing application consistent point in time data states for key environments and applications, such as VMware VMs, SQL Server databases, MySQL, HANA databases, and more. In addition, by storing these immutable data copies on Google Cloud, you can keep them physically separate from your production infrastructure, thereby reducing their susceptibility to easy attack. And of course, at the end of the day, speed is key. The goal is to get your business back online as quickly as possible. However, as we've mentioned before, ransomware attacks can't be treated the same as a traditional outage. When ransomware infections occur, they're often present for days, weeks, or even months before being triggered. And as a result, some of the stored data copies may also be infected. Therefore, once your security teams identify tools to scan for the malware, they'll need to use those tools to validate your stored data copies before using those copies as the source for recovery. With traditional backup and recovery products, accessing the stored backups can be a very time consuming process with each copy needing to first be moved to hot storage and transformed to an application readable format. Needing to perform this move and transform process sequentially before each backup inspection can extend the recovery process for days. With the Google Cloud solution, however, your security teams can obtain instant access to multiple point in time data states in parallel without needing to move them and also without needing to transform them because we can store the data in its natively application accessible format. And in this way, you can implement a solution with an expected recovery time measured in hours, not days. And finally, our solution is also designed to be cost effective as its core is delivered as a pay-as-you-go service via Google Cloud Marketplace. The Google Cloud ransomware recovery solution as depicted here builds on Actifio, our unique first-party backup and recovery solution to deliver the functionality required to deliver fast cloud-integrated ransomware recovery. Actifio can quickly capture application-consistent point-in-time data states using its efficient incremental forever technology, which drastically minimizes the amount of data transferred and stored. When using incremental forever data capture, Actifio only takes a single full copy of the data, and from then forward, it efficiently captures and stores only the changed blocks, while still maintaining the capability to fully access 
and restore application consistent data corresponding to any of the captured points in time. Now these efficiently captured point in time copies are stored in cost effective cold storage on Google Cloud. Now for on-premises production environments, this creates physical separation between the production infrastructure and the recovery data, thereby making it less susceptible to attack. Now in steady state, the associated deployment is very lightweight. You'll simply send data periodically to our cloud-based storage. Then after a successful attack occurs, you can dynamically and rapidly spin up scalable cloud infrastructure to access the stored data states and perform your validation. This allows you to minimize your steady state cost and it also allows you to perform cost-effective on-demand preemptive testing with the required infrastructure only deployed when it's actually needed. Now, it's also worth noting that to augment Actifio's native capabilities, the solution also provides guidance, best practices, and scripting templates crafted specifically to support the ransomware recovery use case. For example, scripted identity access management controls can provide an additional layer of protection by authorizing and deauthorizing access to the cloud storage in alignment with the scheduled backup window. And crucially, Actifio supports parallel direct access to multiple point in time data states without requiring transformation or movement of the data. This allows your security team to scan and rapidly identify uninfected recovery candidates, supporting recoveries in hours, not days. But we're not stopping there. Looking ahead, we're continuing to evolve and integrate the best of Google Cloud's technologies and services to help our customers improve and validate their cyber preparedness. And these efforts have multidisciplinary scope, spanning storage, security, AI, ML, and more. Be sure to stay tuned for what we have in store. Now, some final thoughts to close out our session. We're here to help you accelerate your time to recovery from ransomware attack. In turn, that can reduce your cyber risk and provide you with validated confidence in your ability to maintain business continuity. We welcome you to partner with us in your journey to achieving end-to-end -end cybersecurity and resilience. Now, finally, as I mentioned earlier, Google Cloud has a variety of products and services to support that end-to-end -end journey. Our specialists will be happy to help you learn more about any or all of the associated solutions. So let's get started. To learn more about ransomware recovery, cyber resilience, and security with Google Cloud, please contact your Google Cloud sales representative. And to learn more about Google Cloud solutions and best practices for achieving cybersecurity and resilience, we invite you to check out these articles on cloud.google.com. And with that, we'll close the session. I'd like to thank my co-presenter, Vicente, for joining me today. And of course, a big thank you to everyone watching. We truly appreciate your time and attention.